And I've noticed what seems to be missing from the, the models of history and prehistory from a lot of the archaeologists and academic types is that they are unaware of this epic story of the Earth that we inhabit and how this pulse of change may have affected the rise and fall of civilizations. I mean, we certainly know from the fossil record that there have been millions of species that preceded humans on this planet that have become extinct and they've left their remains in the fossil record. When you look at deep time, going back to the very beginnings, what we call the Phanerozoic, which is the time of visible life. Phanes mean light, zoic means life. So you have visible life when light was shed onto the pageantry of life on Earth, going back to you know, the transition from Precambrian to Cambrian. And so we know that we have millions of fossils of creatures that apparently no longer exist. Is that all part of a process to ultimately get to us? I don't know, but it seems like the evolution of life has been towards you talked about the cross being the vertical and the, the horizontal and the vertical. Well, if you look at the orientation of life as it's coming from a marine existence up through an intertidal zone into a terrestrial existence, it's gone from a horizontal to a vertical. Oh, wow. And we are now the vertical.